good day viewers. As promised, we shall go to section seven, uh, which is only two verses. So let's try to finish the two verses. Let's, let's try to finish them. Uh, so, <clears throat> what does uh, Surah 60 say? So the next surah, uh, verse. The next verse is 60. What does verse 60 say? What is Istaska Musa Likomihi Fakulna Idru the Asaka Al Al Hijra. And remember, Moses prayed for water for his people. We said, Kulna we said Fakulna Idrib the Asaka Al Hijra. Strike the rock with thy staff. For in Fajarat, for in Fajarat, me who it na, for Fajarat, me who it nata asharata, it nata asharata, a nan, it nata asharata, a nan. Strike the rock with the rock, with the staff. With thy staff, then gushed forth there from twelve springs. So these are the twelve uh, gates of Israel. Eh? So when he struck the rock with his uh, rod, uh, twelve springs uh, sprang up. I'm for who it na ashara. Sorry, if Nata Ashara Ainan Kad Alma Kulli Kad Kalma Alma Kulli Unnasi Mashrabahum. Then gush of there for twelve spring. Each group knew its own place. So that was the division of the tribe of Israel. And when the tribe 12 springs sprang up, uh, it took new its uh, drinking place. Kat Alma, Kat Alma, Kulli, Unnisan, Mashrabu, they know their drinking place. Kulu, what is Shruku, may risk me, may risk it lahi. Walla, Walla, Tausu, Fil Adi. Musidi, wala wala tarta wala tarta wala tarta wala fi fil ardi mufsidin. So they all knew their drinking place. Each knew its own place for water. So eat and drink of the sustenance. Eat and drink of the sustenance provided by God. And do no evil, nor mischief, on the face of the earth. Wala takta wu fil ardi mufsidi. Do no, do no mischief, do no evil or mischief, uh, on the earth. Sixty-one. So we, we now go to sister one. What is Kultum Ya Musa La Nazbiru Allah Ta Amin Wahida? For it Ulana Rabakum Rabaka, for it Ulana Rabaka, Yuhriju Lana Mima Tabitus Al Ardi. So uh, and remember, O oh Moses, we cannot endure only one kind of food always. Ta'amin hmm? wahida, one kind of food. Ta'amin wahida, one kind of food always. Fa'ifulana Rebecca, Yuhruju lana mima tumbitul ardi. Me yak me me yakluha. 
sorry. Uh, sorry, me impactly her. So beseech thy Lord, so beseech thy Lord for us to produce for us of what the earth groweth. Mm -hmm. So they were tired of uh, manna, almanna, and uh, quills, salwa. They were tired of it, and they asked uh, Moses for a change. Mm -hmm. So what they say, uh, what the earth produces, I mean, Bakliha, I mean, Kabliha, I mean, Bakliha, eh, Wakita, Iha, Wafumiha, Wadesiha, Wabasaliha, eh, Kala, is that Badilu, Kala. Kala, astabdilu, astabdilu, alazi huwa ada bilazi huwa khairun. So, let's come there. Let's go to the various kinds of food they were asking for. They can, we, we, uh, oh Moses, we cannot endure one kind of food. So beseech thy Lord for us to produce, uh, for us to produce for us what the earth grows. It's pot heads. Hmm? Bakleha, it's pot heads. And cucumbers. And, and cucumbers. Eh? Wa kita iha. Eh? Cucumbers. And garlic. Hmm? Wa fumiha. And lentils. Wa adasiha, wa basileha, and onions, basile, and basileha. He said, Will you change the better for the worse? Kala, atastabdiluna, atastabdiluna, alezi huwa ada, bilezi huwa khairun. Will you change the better for the worse? That was Moses asking them. Mm -hmm. uh, he went to Misran, for in the lacum, Masa Alatum, Masa Altum. Sorry, he went to Misran, for in the lacum, Masa Alatum. So Moses now saying, Go ye down to my town. Uh, go ye down to any town, uh, and you shall find what you want. So he said, God cannot provide this. Go to any town. You will find that. God cannot provide everything for you. So this is a lesson for us. Hmm? Uh, Am I lost or what? Well, ma sa what lacum ma sa altum. What did you buy a lacum a lazy lahu lahu almas kinnatu? Waba u excuse me. Waba um begada be minna lahi wallahu. Men and lie, Zalika be a nahum cano yakuru. Go ye down to any town, and you shall find what you want. Masala to what you want. They were covered with humiliation and misery. They drew on themselves the wrath of God. This because they went on rejecting the signs of God and slaying his messengers without any just cause. This is because they rebelled and went on transgressing. Hmm. They were covered with humiliation. Uh -huh. Let's start from there. Hmm. 
ودري بات عليهم الذي له مسجد وباعه بق بق وقاب بالدبن من الله ذلك بأنهم كانوا يكفرون بآياتنا والله والله بآيات الله سوري بآيات الله يقتلون النبيون يقتلون النبيين they slaughtered the prophets بغير الحق with a justification ذلك بما ذلك بما أسوا وكانوا يقتدون and slave his messengers with a just cause this because they rebelled and went on transgress and went on transgressing so that's these are the two verses of section 7 so hopefully next time we go to section 8 let's go now to the tablets of, of, the, of the last video. Uh, I think I should read this. If there are many parts, but it looks like this is the last part in this paper. So let's read it. Why the Arabs and so-called Jews can never ever find peace together in the so-called Holy Lands of the Middle East. Final installment. So I think it's an important uh, subject. Continuing from last week's article, one must know that iron white, into brackets, European and American tradition, apostolic fathers of the church, theosophical, theosophical, theosophical uh, teachings and writings, as well as the Arabs, have all labored over the past 500 years trying to disconnect black Africans from ancient Egypt. Trying to disconnect black Africans from ancient Egypt. I, I hope you've heard that. So ancient Egypt and black Africans should actually not be disconnected, but trying to disconnect them. <clears throat> an ancient Canaan, an ancient Canaan, Israel, thus, uh, Canaan means here into brackets Israel, in order to hide the true identity of the original artists of the Bible. Can you hear that? In order to hide the true identity of the actual of the original authors of, of, of the original authors of the Bible and the origin from whence the Bible originated, which was ancient Egypt. So we are told here the Bible actually originated from ancient Egypt. Hmm? In essence, what the iron white does. Europeans, Americans, what the iron white race has attempted to do by, high, by hijacking ancient Egypt, the strategy has been to kill the messenger, black ancient Egyptians. Mm -hmm. So that's the paper. But save, and but save and embrace the message of the messenger for themselves, the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. So they try to rather save the Holy Bible. It is important to know that Western curious, curiosity and interest in ancient Egypt and ancient Canaan wanting it to be recognized as the Genesis as an iron white or Asian civilization thus induced Western uh, scholarship to create the discipline science called Egyptology. Hmm? The iron white race the iron white race's main objective in establishing Egyptology is to destroy the black African genesis of ancient Egypt and ancient Canaan. Thus, to end, to give the world, end is E and D, just to end, to give the world a counterfeit analysis of this great civilization as being creation of the iron white race. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not saying it. Note, note, mandatory interbreeding and a process of miscegenation, miscegenation 
enforced by the invading barbarian iron whites from the Caucasus mountains upon the indigenous black females throughout ancient Canaan and Egypt. Over the past 2,500 years has created a prototype so-called Semite looking race today has produced a prototype so-called Semite looking race today. <clears throat> However, the late Dr. Sheikh Anta, Sheikh, it begins with C-H, the late Dr. Sheikh Anta Dio, Senegalese, into brackets a Senegalese, who was a physicist scientist, who, who was a, phys, a physicist scientist, Egyptologist, paleo, paleoanthropologist, and world historian, eloquently sums up the essence of the iron white race's futile attempts to whitewash ancient Egypt. Hmm? Do mankind trying to destroy the black African genesis of ancient Egypt is like trying to drown a fish in the vast ocean. Let me repeat it. Ancient Egypt, full stop, job, column. Mankind trying to destroy the black African genesis of ancient Egypt is like trying to drown a fish in the vast ocean. Hmm? So it means that we have sent him home. Yeah, trying to finish in the ocean. It means that you uh, uh, sent the fish home. By master, by master teacher H. M. Maulana. So that was good. By master teacher A. M. Maulana. So that's a lesson for us. Huh? Never uh, we are told that the Bible actually originated from Egypt, mm? and the. Uh, Iron whites, Europeans and Americans have captured it as their own and uh, treated it special for themselves. But actually, it's from Africa, Black Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also attempted, there was also an attempt to separate Black Africans from Egypt. Uh, in actual fact, they are not separated. Egypt and Africa are one and the same. Thank you very much. We shall continue uh, our next video data. And may God bless you.